Hello and welcome back under the dome. Welcome back to Encased and playing hardball. Or in Swedish, Welcomen. Yeah, I'm back from Sweden and it was very nice. However, I got a cold. So my COVID uh, messed up immune system. Got some training, which is pretty good though, I guess. So, and well, we do remember our mission and our grand expedition here in the southwest, uh, southeast, sorry, the southeast of the dome was actually unsuccessful in one important regard because I had hoped that we would find some hyenas to increase our reputation with cheerful Jack, who likes to defeat them and who doesn't like the animals. Um, and I do know that they are there somewhere, because before this whole expedition thing, I had fiddled around a little bit while eating, you know, and with the mouth full, you can't really record any videos. And I ran into one um, random fight. I don't know, recall where it was. But yeah, I mean, they must be somewhere around there. So, and the big question is now, are we actually going back another time? Or should I do this off camera, maybe? I'm not sure. But we know that we can increase our reputation with Yoko by finding new stuff and by scanning. So, and that's the big thing. However, we do have this kaleidoscope project. And I want to go there together with someone. Well, and well, we want to do some cooking. We need to, to get some food, actually. So I feel that we can actually replace Yoko with Katarzyna and do the cooking and then we just take who's, who's 70? Who was 70? Oh no, that was there. Eh? What was 70? Yeah, what was 70? Ah, the white wing. Okay, yeah. Um, so that's my thinking that we take, we, we take Katarzyna then we cook up some stuff because um, we need food, yeah. And I took out all this stuff already out of the uh, out of our chest um, or our personal locker. Um, so I guess we should do that first. So and then we can actually take Yoko again, I guess, and then actually maybe go to these locations here and just find them, yeah. Um, and then we could go back, I guess, and have another go, or like without Yoko, at least, yeah. Um, and maybe with with someone who's actually appreciating uh, fights, someone like Fox. Um, well, and Crumb likes likes fights, right? Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, as I said, so like Yoko and Cheerful Jack. So I don't think that they are actually um, working too well, these two, with, with us, with, with our build, with our character. Um, but what I really want to do is actually to try and uh, increase the reputation as much as possible. And we know that we can talk with them. Once they have like 35 or 40 points, I think, or 35, I think it was. Um, and then maybe it will open up something else at some point. Yeah. So that's my thinking right now. So let's have a look in our personal chest again. Did we have any food? No. So let's do the cooking then. So let's collect Katarzyna. And by the way, you guys can come out of sneak mode there. And let's go here. And then let's get to the laboratory. Four level minus four. Laboratories. Firstly, we go in here because we are so thirsty. We have also quite some hunger. Yeah, come on here. Drink something. This is 300. 
Yeah. Filling the belly with water. They're very good. Mirror. Looking into the mirror. And... Yeah. Well, we can be pleased with ourselves. Let's do some peeing. There you go. Cleaning the water, uh, the cleaning our hands again. Um, and there's nothing else to do, so let's go to Akira. I guess I wonder if this is actually like an honorable mention of the name, mentioning of the name. Go there. Nah, come on. Well, and actually, I wonder what happens if we go to Akira and talk to him. So let's do that. While uh, Yoko is actually here. Is it actually, is he doing anything? He's working on another robot. There's a... The metal skeleton. Okay. Quick saving. Hey, Akira, how are you doing? I'm starting to get bored. Oh, I have serviced Yoko system. She's totally fine and she's charging nicely. Thank you. Thank you with all my heart. Okay, and yeah, by the way, so you had a high-tech weapons manual and science magazine. Oh, that's actually pretty good to have those. Because do we actually... Science magazine? Well, we do have two. Ah, uh, that's fine. We don't need to steal anything. I feel bad. Oh no, but I shouldn't, because, like, I am not Hardball, in this case. And Hardball is morally challenged, as we know, right? So. But, yeah, well. So, but now it's time, actually, to talk with Yoko. Let's just check something. So, she has uh, this stuff here, the Sh Shiro Yama. Um, the Archimedes belt. Yeah, I mean, at, at this point, I feel that we can actually leave everybody with their with their equipment. Oh, no, but uh, we need to put the relics out of there. We don't have so many of them. High-tech weapons. Yeah, she's got the other ones. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. So let's... Oh, no, but uh, the engineer's cap for the... Uh, for the learnability, that's also the thing. So this one didn't have learnability. Well, and the Archimedes belt, just in case. But everything else she can keep. I don't want to jumble around everything all the time. Yeah, well, the backpack is also maybe a thing. So, Yoko, we need to talk, my dear. The research mode is paused. Social mode. Hello, I think you can actually Yoko's maybe spend some time with again. Akira. The fan in her head begins to hum, quiet and somehow surprised. Does it mean that our common research program is finished? Well, not not finished in that sense, but you know, we just take a break for now. Yoko looks at you with anxiety. It's modeled with incredible accuracy. You've already seen this look on Akira's face. Oh. I returned to Magellan to fulfill my basic program. It was a pleasure working with you, Senpai. Don't answer. It's a standard phrase. Yoko spreads her shoulders, throws her rifle onto her back, and leaves with firm steps. Yeah, it's fine, Yoko. So there you go. There she is. So let's pick up our friend, our corrupt friend Katarzyna. Hey Katarzyna. As you approach, Katarzyna dives for cover behind the glass table with test tubes on it, hiding her face in the usual manner. Hey Katarzyna. She looks behind the table carefully. It's you again. I mean, I wanted to say I'm glad to see you, despite the fact that I had to leave your team. No Katarzyna, you are way too negative there. You are always part of the team. Yeah, and you're not leaving, you're just taking a break. So, it's so that everybody can develop nicely. So, come on, let's travel together again. In her eyes. You're saving me all over again. Oh, yeah. My God. Well, the can... Jack. Jack from the game? I guess, yeah, that's him, right? 
You can show your gratitude later. Katarzyna. So, let's have a look. So, what are you actually wearing? What do you have, my dear? Oh, you don't have anything? Yeah, that's the thing. So, you need the learnability here. So, I'm glad that I put this one out. Um, yeah. So, uh, you can actually wear this one. You wear this one. For your learnability. And then do we actually have the high-tech weapons here? Yeah, here, the researcher's gloves. Um, and that's it, I guess. Like initiative, mechanical resistance, yeah. You can have the universal boots. Well, looking at everything, we actually didn't find so much stuff. For everybody. But yeah, so here, have a backpack. And I guess that's it. We don't have anything for the f the mouth of haze. So, but that's fine. Can we actually upgrade this one? The Axis Cryo Laser. That would be pretty nice, I think. So that's actually a really good weapon. Um, and we can do that. Or we could. That, oh no, we can't. High-tech modifications. What was that again? The high-tech modifications. Was this like the tech? No, it's science here. The high-tech modifications. Ah, oh, yeah, okay. We have only 60 or 71, but 61 as permanent. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I want... What did I want to do? I wanted to actually increase piloting next, right? But science is certainly also a good thing. Scanning is more efficient and grants us three additional knowledge points. Yeah. So, so let's yeah decontaminate Katarzyna so we know that you are a clean lady. And then it's you know it's better. It's it's, it's important to know that you are a clean lady. Yeah, just stand under there because when once we share our sleeping bags then you know it's it's just better so let's uh, drink some more here oh they don't have the hand dryers here by the way yeah but it's fine so there yeah self confidence all right so let's get on the main elevator and let's go to the residential area where we have the kitchen and there, level minus five. Mm, what ball? we go two. here. Come back later. I need to take a break. There's the kitchen. Employees. Oh, Charlie. by the way, oh, there, this is the fire post. Um, do we actually have the empty ones? Oh, I just put them. Oh, okay, that's fine. We can refill it later at some point. So, and now the big moment comes. Let's check this one out. I think we should actually get experience, right? So he's got all that he can. Katarzyna. Oh, Katarzyna is also level 14 only. Yeah. But I think like once she gets another level, she will just uh, like the others. Um, she will instantly gain some more. So let's get to the kitchen stove, shall we? So there we go. There, the fried roach egg. A uh, roach egg. Let's craft one, two, three, four, five. Does it say anything? No. And by the way, do we need? Do we need it? Do we need the? Ah, oh, that's the legs. Do we need? Or can we actually use the? No, we can't. Well then. Ten. Well then, let's craft the maximum. Does that do something? Oh yeah, there. So we got plus five reputation with Katarzyna.
Oh yeah, Katarzyna likes that we know how to cook deliciously. There we have it. There we have it. Delicious cockroach eggs, right? So and that's what impresses her. Let's have red roast. And we actually we can do some pretty good cooking actually. Yeah, we have seven salt. Well then let's craft the maximum. Red feet. Ah oh, yeah, very nice. Oh, but that didn't give us any reputation with her, so... Like that's this one now. The red roast, healing, ungodly salty food. Small piece of meat braised in devilishly hot sauce with red onion rings. Tasty and nutritious. Pity it's made from red. Yeah, and that's the red foot over there. By the way, why is it not stacking? Oh yeah, now it is. Okay, good. Then... The fried roach legs. Yeah, let's craft the maximum. There you go. And we have another plus five wrap with the... Yeah, that's nice. So, that's good. And the thing is, we can eat the stuff and then sleep and then we don't need to care about the the smelly food and the scanned food and so on. A dubious meal created by orange wing employees. The local cockroaches can grow up to 1.5 meters long, so it's quite hearty. Yeah. Well. Then we've got the fried red eye. Yeah, let's craft the maximum. Bam. A bizarre dish resembling fried eggs. We could eat worse if we were hungry enough. They are very nice. Another five uh, reputation gain with Katarzyna. So now she's also impressed that we know how to cook red eyes. There they are, fried red eyes. Scan food and nausea. Well, you better, we better sleep that off directly after eating that stuff. The fried red tail. I wonder if we actually get uh, other recipes, but I ju I'm just doing everything now. Crafting the maximum. Okay. That was not enough to get more or to impress her more. But we do have the hyena meat. Crafting the maximum. 19 experience. Oh, guys, I'm so stupid. What am I doing here? I mean, okay, the experience is not significant, but... Oh, that was stupid, wasn't it? Come on. There was an auto save when we came back, so it's fine. I want to maximize this, as you guys know. Also, we need to... Oh yeah, I, I actually I saved before we started, right? Did I? Yeah. Yeah, I did. That was good. So save early, save often, right? So here we go. Yeah, I didn't that didn't waste too much time, so um So the cockroach eggs, crafting maximum. The red roast, craft are like one, two, three, four, five. The fried roach legs, craft maximum. Fried red eggs, ice, craft maximum. Fried red tail, craft maximum. Fried hyena meat, craft maximum. There you go. So yeah, yeah. So it's significantly more experience. And it adds up, as we know. It does add up. Um, then we've got the boiled Volpa eye. Oh yeah, we only have three of them, but we will not eat the Volpa eyes uh, raw. The meat of these animals is so disgusting that only certain parts of the body can be eaten. Alas, this is one of them. Yeah. Craft the maximum. 
Then the fried vulpa gland, vulpa amygdala, nasty food nausea, the small slimy lump would certainly be used in some traditional medicine if such rabbits were found outside the dome. Crafting the maximum, the vulpa tail, fleshy, oily and smells bad. It is recommended to stew it for several hours before consumption. Yeah. Vulpa's tail fried in oil, not as disgusting as raw one, but it's hard to call it a delicacy either. Yeah, so there we go. So and now with uh, Katarzyna, so it's plus 15, that we know how to cook deliciously. So I'm not entirely certain. Oh yeah, there's more red rose. Yeah, well, let's craft one more and two more. Oh yeah, and that was enough for the next wrap. Okay, good. So we've got plus 20 points with Katarzyna. She really likes us. Eh? Where's the fourth one? Oh no, it didn't. Oh yeah, well. Okay, well. So... Well, how about let's heat one of these. Heated beans. One of those. Oh yeah, and there was a sound. Oh yeah, here, there. Now we got it with the... Okay, good. Yeah, it is impressive for some ladies, right? To know that you can heat up some beans out of... A tin. So there we go. And that's it. We could actually boil some more eggs. One, two. And then let's have some pulled pork. Or actually only one. One. Bam. So that's good. That's good. Very nice indeed. Very nice indeed. And now we do have a lot of food. All fried. That's not good for our health. But uh, eating the stuff raw certainly worse for our health yeah and i think it stays heated yeah so that's good saving Attention. going back the new committee offers equal opportunity to everyone. shut him up somebody and then we we can actually now that we have a uh, significant fatigue I actually, I want to have the next bed. I think it's fine. That was that was empty, right? Yeah. Let's have a look into the computer. Purchase a more comfortable bed, the second level, for 1,000. Let's do that. Bam. Place our money in the aperture with a crunching sound, a section of floor together with the standard sunbed drops slowly out of sight, soon a bed of much better quality rises up to take its place. Oh, that's nice, right? Nice bed. Well, these guys have better ones. There's only the couch. Uh, this guy never sleeps because he's like always on his computer. Huh? Then what else? They have all... Yeah, that's... I guess that's actually the best bed. This one, yeah. Well, okay then, so. Jack, you either come in and, or out. Then, and then you just stand outside while Katarzyna and, you know. So, let's do that. So, let's see. We need to eat for 500 and we have 700. I believe now we should actually get 90 points of fatigue reduced uh, per hour slept before it was 60. So it is 500. So let's eat. Come on, Katarzyna. We are eating a very nice fried red tail. Hmm. Oh, we are nausea. No we have nausea. Oh, gonna throw up. Scanned food. After such a meal, all one can think about is having a decent meal. Oh, yuck. Minus 15 learnability. Okay. Hmm. Well. Then, let's try the red foot. Uh, or rather, the fried red foot. Where is it? Here, there. The red roast. Ungodly salty food. Small pieces of meat braised in devilishly hot sauce. There you go. Hmm. 
ungodly salty nausea ungodly salty plus 10 evasion and plus 15 cryogenic resistance now that's interesting makes one's tongue ache there's a u too much but it's fine um and now we have 393 yeah so which means we are eating couldn't we make anything with the cockroach eyes an odious snack for either real gourmets or deranged twisted individuals where maybe we need to find a recipe or something so let's eat this fried roach eggs for 75 we are really we're going to throw up now and we are at th 318 Let's eat the fried Volpa gland. Oh, that's hunger minus 200, actually. And the boiled Volpa eye. The gland. Mmm. And the boiled Volpa eye. Mmm. So there we go, 43. And the fried red eye, it's 50. Yeah. A bizarre dish resembling fried eggs. You could eat worse. So there we go. That's actually, yeah. Lots of bad stuff happening. We're really nauseous now. Good thing is that we can sleep it off now. So let's get into bed. And then for 700. So let's... Jack, did you just open the door? But well. Let's eat, uh, let's sleep like for, let's say, yeah, let's sleep until four o'clock in the morning. Like this, that should be enough. So there. Right. Fatigue zero. Okay, I guess we slept a little bit too much, but it doesn't matter. Um, what's that? Camouflage. Oh yeah, because it's night. Yeah, it's fine then. So, I think we are doing pretty well. Now we de we need to put some food into our box. Let's have a special compartment right, right beside the fresh cockroach eggs, right? Do you think that's a good idea? Let's put it there. Send the salmon snacks. Of the eggs. Let's keep four eggs. How much do they weigh? 0 0.2. Because who knows, maybe there is something that we need to do or give to someone or something. Red foot. Let's keep one. Fried red tail. Yeah. With the fried hyena meat we take with us because I feel that that's actually a pretty good um, snack for the road. Pretty efficient. And well, the fried Volpa gland is actually also not so bad. But we can do that when we are really messed up. The onion here, all these eggs. Fried red eyes. I wonder if at some point we become gourmets or something once we have eaten everything. But I guess we are finding out soon enough. Let's put all of that there. I mean, if we get a, a quest, then. We will have uh, ample time, I guess. Yeah, the pulled pork. <laughs> we can we can reheat it, I guess. Can ham. Let's just keep one with us. So I guess that's that's the way we can go. And yeah, yeah, I think that's fine. Like that, huh? Ready to go. On the next expedition so otherwise like here yeah 
I mean, I really feel that we are carrying around too much stuff, but... Uh, it's kind of... This was the Viper. Yeah, we left the other one behind. Uh, and this stuff might come in handy. Yeah, so I think we are we are good to go now. Yeah, check, check, check. Everything's fine. We could do some upgrading though. So let's save. And then let me just check something. Um, because... Although, no, we don't want to have Katarina right now. We want to have Yoko again. So, we are. What, yeah, I think we are sticking to the plan now. We're taking Yoko with us. And then we are going to the other locations in the north. Um, I know that's kind of min-maxing or maxing out stuff. But I think it's, it's more efficient that way. Let's go to the laboratory. And... Um, Floor level I really minus. want the reputation there. There you go. So Katarzyna, come up. Oh, and by the way, Katarzyna, you need to take your clothes off again. Um, and especially the artifacts. Yeah. For Katarina. Okay then. So see you later, Katarina. Belitskaya casts around nervously. I'm well, I'm starting to worry again. Frankly, I'm straight up scared. We're not gonna get stranded far from civilization, are we? Are there dry closets where you're headed? Hey, I don't like that silence. Well, I'm sorry, Katarina. So. I feel that this is actually too negative here, but yeah. Well, so you need to. Well, everyone kicks me out of everywhere. In Don't be so depressed. Mind, I'm on the lab floor. I've nowhere else to go at all. Yeah, well, she's a bit manipulative there, but I mean, she does have some reason to be depressed. Yoko's so Yoko, come on. We are ready to travel. Information accepted, senpai. I'm ready. The research mode is resumed. Says Yoko. Her eyes are shimmering blue once again. I am hey, Yoko. Come on, scary member. little robot. And you are an actor, Jack. Perhaps your action film skills will be useful. Yeah, so... Um, so here... Oh yeah, she actually had this stuff. Yeah, yeah it doesn't matter. So here, there you go have the pins again just to increase your learnability and there there we go so ready to go and this one was the albatross right and this one here is better though yeah so you can wear this one although you seem to uh, prefer your school girl outfit oh yeah and by the way the backpack there you go backpack there so and now we are on we are going on our adventure again so that was nice so we maximize our reputation with katarzyna and i think we are going to uh, just check out the other Please locations for decontamination to um, as i said see if there's anything Please to scan for decontamination for yuko and then we are maybe we are Please going back just once for uh, for Cheerful Jack, but then I'm actually kicking out uh, Cheerful Jack and Yoko. 
Oh, and by the way, no, sorry, move away. We need to drink something, some more. And let's, you know, after that food yesterday, I, think, I guess it's important to, you know, flush that one away. There, looking into the mirror, everything's still fine, right? Big black rings under our eyes. So there we go. An elevator. Let's go to the hall. And then we are making Four way level. into the Minus unknown. Down here. That's where we need to go. So very nice indeed. Let's go to the surface. And then Oh, let's see. I hope there's no no further attack or something. No, it looks, looks good, I guess. Elwood Mason. Yeah, there. Good. Okay, good. Area is clear. Uh, what am I doing here? Sorry, guys. Oh, no. Sorry. We need to go back. I forgot the servo shell. Okay, well. So half my brain is still in Sweden, I guess. Um, yeah, but it was pretty nice. Uh, I, I uh, looked at a lot of restaurants and museums. And, well, everything was pretty crisp and clear and clean. Fresh, nice air there. Pretty nice, actually. Um, it's Patrick Way. Residential area, yeah. Floor level minus. There you go. Yeah. It's a nice bed, actually. Not everyone under the dome gets such a comfortable bed. There. Our honest work will make the world a better place. And now. So, sorry about that. That was my failure. Hall. Because we want the learnability increase with the servo shell, of course. There you go. Getting out of here. Homely comfort. Yeah, going to the surface. Well, if there's an attack now, then I'm going to laugh. Loud and hard. Was it here? Yeah, here, there. No, but it's fine. No cockroaches crawling out of anywhere. Uh, was that one? Was that there before? Let's have a look. Was that the the car that we helped to repair? Well, but we can't interact with it. Well then. By the way, I don't hear any music. Or did I switch it off, by the way? No, okay, there's no no music supposed to be. So that's fine. And by the way, was there someone here? Someone we could talk to? No. People are leaving their post. That's not good. Or it's really good because that means uh, the situation is rather safe. Okay, so let's go here. And now we get to travel the dome again. For some time. So let's get to this cave. The cave. Miles and I had a lot of debate about seemingly trifling things. He said that people quickly run savage if they are placed in appropriate conditions. 
but this is normal being a kind of adaptation mechanism. I always told him that to run savage is impossible. These people simply vent all the darkness that has accumulated inside them at times. I think that they were just waiting for the opportunity to do this. Oh. Yeah, well, that's a dark interpretation. Oh, okay, well. Ah, there's a... Uh Oh, there's another level up there, okay. So let's recall what's going on here. We got 341 exploration experience. Um, and... No, that's J-like journal, isn't it? The data and the quest. So this is like... Uh... Suspicious cave. Sheriff Kurt Spengler asks us to visit a suspicious cave located near Junktown. Kurt suspects the cave dwellers are behind the increasing number of disappearances in the area. Yeah, let's get out of the servo shell. Sneak around, guys. We are sneaking ahead, actually. There's something here. A supply barrel. Nothing there. Ah, oh, there's actually a big pipe here, okay. Well, it is the middle of the night. Trap discovered. More traps discovered. Shovel. Okay, so there, ooh, there are assassins and a grunt. And they have turrets, okay. Um... Look through here. Ah, yeah. That is behind enemy lines now, or oh, they have their dining area up there, I guess. Okay, well, I, what I wanted to do is just explore the location and then go away. And we are doing this with other characters who are actually reveling in the fight. Yeah. Yeah, I can see where this is going actually. There's a mobile generator. Oh, and there. Oh, there are people here, I guess. Well, maybe we actually need to. Ha oh, there is someone, yeah. Trevor Penn and Taja Berna Berger. I wonder if, like, if we go away now, if they die. Let's search the stuff. Oh yeah, this is where we came from, okay. Plastics. Components. Are the guys coming? Okay. Stack of equipment and stuff. More plastics. Oh, nice, some spare parts. They are not totally common. And rather valuable. An egg and three. Okay, well. Let me just save here. I mean, of course, we could do it with Yoko and Jack. The engine rumbled softly and rhythmically. The generator is active. Take a closer look at. We take a closer look at the generator first. Examining the rusty streaks on the housing, we realize it's not rust at all. The generator is caked with dried blood. The brown flakes peel easily away on our fingernail. What remains forms a strange pattern of many little symbols drawn with a brush. A braid of dirty cables runs from the generator to diverge in several directions, most likely to power the turrets and the cave's lighting system. Hmm. Okay, well. The way to go is obviously to destroy it. 
culture overloaded so but let's explore this one further a bit first before we make any rash decisions there's nothing here and by the way so we do have seven points in everything now yeah yeah but i think actually what we wanted to do was to check out the area to get the exploration bonus and to make yoko happy and um like to attack these guys for that i really want the characters who like the fight so let's go back i hope we can help them And then we're just checking out the other area, this graveyard. I guess like if something bad would happen then they would tell us, right? Let's go to the radioactive graveyard. I hope that this uh, min th th that this maximizing is not causing too much trouble for myself later on that I forget a location or anything. Puffs of dark smoke rise from the sparse sun-dried grove. The wind carries a suffocating chemical smell like burnt textiles and plastic. Oh. Let's approach the source of the smoke. Oh, it's a map. Okay. Think of them as part of a flawlessly crafted simulation designed to protect your fragile mental health. The time will come and scientists will be able to defeat the artificial infertility caused by the dome. And in the meantime, RoboKids do an excellent job as companions, allowing you to fully experience the joy of parenting. Maria Polonskaya, head of social planning department, Silver Wing. Oh, the Robo Kid junkyard. Oh my god. Oh my god, look at this. Oh, that is sad. Oh my god. How many Robo Kids did they have? Oh my god. And we have Yoko with us. Maybe it's not such a good idea to uh, to have her with us, but let's let's see. I've just uh, I just uh, I just saved, so let's see. Maybe she says something. If I felt something, Senpai, what kind of emotion would it be? Regret? Fright? My program imitates human character quite imperfectly. Well, Yoko. I guess fright, fright would certainly be um, a justified emotion here. But oh, that's really horrific. That is quite horrific. How could they just throw them away like this? Yeah, well. But Yoko didn't get anything. No. Like from exploring the dome. Just checking out everything now. And Yoko does have... 10 perception now. Yeah. So we actually should see everything. If there's anything. Aha, there's a large container over there. Empty air guns and weapon parts. 
Empty and full air gun cartridges. Oh, we can go in there actually. Okay. Why is it actually burning? Are they burning the robot parts? Okay, well, apparently there's nothing here. But Yoko, don't worry. Akira likes you so much. He even loves you, so he will not just throw you away. But always keep you in very nice maintenance. Always keeps you healthy. And in, in great condition. So... Well, it, it looks like there's nothing here. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe maybe someone wants to meet here at some point or so. Who knows? Well, then I guess we can go away again, huh? Yeah. Didn't look like there were any secrets here. When we get up there, we could... Uh, no, we can't... We couldn't do anything there. What's that? No, there's nothing. There's nothing. You guys can come out of hiding. Alright, and looking at the time, I think we can end the episode here. Um, so we reached... We didn't reach the radioactive graveyard, but we found... Um, yeah, the RoboKid. I, I guess this is like a coincidental thing, a random encounter. Yeah. But well, in the next episode we'll go to the radioactive graveyard, check that one out, and uh, I guess we do have an advantage because Yoko is a machine and doesn't care about radioactivity, I guess. And then, yeah, we might even check out, the, or maybe we go via the Dome North border and then over Everett Road back, and then we are getting Crump, I think, and Katajina, and then we go... We go for the Kaleidoscope project, I think. So just so we have, have some progress. I would like to go more on, on hyena uh, hunting, but I think we spend enough time on that for the moment. And maybe after the Kaleidoscope project. Yeah. We can make a detour down there again or something. Yeah. Okay then. So, I hope you liked this episode. We did a lot of cooking. We increased our reputation nicely with Katajina. We are at full strength. We are doing pretty well. Um, and yeah, well, we explored some stuff. So Yoko should be happy about that too. Although I'm actually not entirely certain if it's really meant uh, with her, you know, exploring the dome. If that is... Uh, scanning or also exploring locations uh, i'm not sure but we'll find out so i guess like after five or six or eight or ten locations uh, we will find out so let's see and until then let's use a swedish word that i learned hey door which means bye bye so thanks for watching if you have any thoughts you wish to share please do so in the comment section as always you're very welcome and um, yeah, I would appreciate if you click the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet, so never ever miss an episode again. So next time, bye bye.